Hi everybody. Whoa, look at that. I've been outside. Um, uh, it's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. And um, I am here today. We're gonna, I was actually gonna do an asparagus recipe. Then I realized I didn't have one of the, the ingredients. Then I was gonna do another recipe and realized I didn't have that ingredient either. So I'm gonna do what I was planning on doing Friday. And that is roasted um, broccoli and or asparagus. Um, I just figured might as well, when you're roasting something, might as well do it all together. So I'm gonna show you a real good way to like cut up the broccoli so it doesn't take you forever and it doesn't stress you out at all. Um, uh, the recipe is really easy. It's uh, cut up bits of cauliflower or broccoli and I think I'm gonna do them separately because why not? Um, add some minced garlic. I have down two to three cloves of minced garlic for every like head of broccoli and a little olive oil and some seasoning, salt, pepper, whatever you want. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, if you don't have fresh garlic, that's fine. Get some garlic powder. Um, everybody's always got that around, right? That's one of the things. Or look at, you know, if you wanna use oregano or something else, go ahead and use that. Um, okay, so here we go. So I've got this little broccoli crown that I bought. And I'm gonna cut it sort of low here so that uh, I don't want the leaves in there. Although I did see a recipe once for using um, for using the stem of the broccoli. Oh, it was for broccoli slaw, I think. Yeah, that was somebody from Food Network, I think, did that. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this all like that. Okay, and I'm gonna throw this away because I don't want it. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could use it for something else, but honestly. Um, okay, then look at your pieces of broccoli like this. Great size, great size. Um, if they get a little bit bigger, I'm going to just be tossing them in here as I go through. Um, if they get a little bit bigger, you can cut them down or you don't have to. Um, this one is, I like them really little because then they get a little crispier. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is cut from the bottom. Oh, I don't think I'm on camera. There we go. Cut from the bottom, don't cut all the way up, and then just pull it apart. Okay, and I'm gonna throw in all these little pieces because I cut them fairly um, high up. There's another one. So it should be good, that one. And look, if you wanna cut it even smaller, do like a little X there and then they break off really easily. Perfect. Okay, and it's so fast. And you know what, the other thing you can do is cut off more of the stem and then it breaks into all the little pieces. Okay, let's cut this guy in half about, how about? <clears throat> Um, really, I should have dried this out, dried the broccoli a little, because it'll just take it a little bit longer to get crispy. Now I'm going to cook this at 375 on a um, baking sheet covered with uh, parchment paper. Okay, so here we go. And now you can just break it. I mean, these were all pretty separate. And I'm gonna cut that higher so I don't have as much cutting to do. And look, you can see how these will all just come right off. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna stop there and I'll finish this up later. Same thing with the um, with the cauliflower. It's actually a little bit different cutting this up. You want to sort of get the root, uh, the the center part of this out, and that will make your life much easier. Then and I can't believe Hava didn't come running when she heard that hit the floor. Okay, look, get rid of that big thing. Then you can get rid of all these little leaves. Oh, 
Okay, now it's the same type of thing. So here's, um, you know, you can see where it's all right there. You can break it off. Do I want to cook these together or separate? I think I'm going to do them separately. Um, do the same thing. Cut it on the stem and then you can pull it apart. Or you can cut the stem up higher. Whatever you want. So these are nice, nice size pieces. Okay. So we're going to do that in a little while. Uh, next up is some garlic. Um, I know I have this Pampered Chef garlic press, and I know you can just put it in whole. I just like to take the crust, the crust, the paper off. So just cut a little bit there, drop it in your garlic press. You can also um, chop it up if you don't have a garlic press. And I'm going to do that right into the bag. Here, I will show you how it works if you don't take the paper off. Because this Pampered Chef one really is nice that way. And I'm going to scrape that off. Okay, so, you know, there's a little, a little bit, sort of the papery part left there. Okay, so now if you want to do it totally, oh, I've got it on camera, sorry about that. Put the whole thing in just like that, and well, that squirted me too. Okay, this will take, um, you have like it totally crushed in here for what didn't come out too. I mean, most of it came through, but, oh, you know what, we're not going to put that skin in, too. So that was even easier. Okay, now, next thing we're going to add, a little bit of olive oil. Just get enough so that it doesn't burn. Oh, and you know what? I've been on this big truffle salt kick, so I'm going to use truffle salt on this. Sprinkle a little in. But again, you can use whatever seasonings you want. If you want to make it, um, you know, Italian, use some Italian seasonings. There's a lot of garlic in this. Okay, so now I will just put it out on a pan, but I am going to add this after I'm finished with you. Um, put it out on a pan and cook it 375 for half an hour. And that's it. And it comes out crispy and delicious, and you'll love it. Um, and with the cauliflower too. So that's all for today. If you have not gone to Liffy Biffy on Facebook, it's Liffy Biffy Inc. or Liffy Biffy Shh, Insider. Go to my Facebook page and you'll find a link to join there because that's only for insiders. And you, if you're watching this, I want you to be an insider. So go to those, like it, because we're starting to like tell more every day. And um, next, I think... Thursday, hopefully, our, um, our website will be up. And then you can shop, and you're going to love these vendors we've got. So I will see you tomorrow. Thanks.